Hey what's up guys it's LBS here again your tech guide so today's video we are going to be checking out some more battery cases for the iPhone 10. The one I've got here this is from Joy Room it is a 3500 milliamp battery and it is a slim profile battery case which is very rare to find nowadays. So off the bat, just looking at the picture guys, we see the DC 3.5 millimeter audio hole over here. And um, the battery itself, it's got that nice slim profile, which uh, a lot of you guys have been looking for. And we finally got it here from Joy Room. So we'll do a quick unboxing of this battery case. And then from there, I'll let you guys know based on my experience what i got from this battery case so let's open this up all right so there it is you get an uh, extra charging lightning cable here and your instruction manual so the case itself let me just pop it out from this case over here and baboom there it is guys look at that slim profile you've got all the holes for your speaker you've got your lightning port there your audio jack hole and on the side you've got cover your um i think it's your power on switch is cover you got an elevation for your camera here to protect the lens and on the other side you've got cover for your volume and your silent switch toggle op expose so let me grab my iphone 10 and before we do that let's try to measure the weight of this case to see how light it is so it is only 101 grams very very light and here is my iphone 10 so before we do that, let's measure the iPhone 10 as well. We are at 172 grams. So here is the spec inside there. If you guys want to see, you've got a 3500 milliamp. It's got a, what is that? The actual the actual um, battery you get from this it looks like it's only 2300 milliamp usually when it comes to battery case i don't know why companies always have that fake number like this one and my other previous battery they always have you know a bigger battery but the actual battery you get from it is less than what they advertise which is kind of weird why they do that but anyways those are the specs inside there so it, it is quite easy to install it all you have to do is just pretty much slide it and align it like so and boom let me just change the brightness here guys it might be too bright for the camera okay and it automatically charges your device once you slide it on to your iPhone 10 so looking around You've got your LED life indicator right there. You got your power on and off switch. And when turning it off, it does take a while to turn it off. You kind of have to hold it within like 15 to 20 seconds, which is okay. It looks like the battery's dying there. So you have to hold it longer until the battery, the light indicator is turned off to turn off your battery case. Some other battery case, you just press it within three to five seconds, it turns off. But this one, I don't know why it takes forever, 15 to 20 seconds at least. Okay, so that's what it looks like on my hand. It is very compact and slim profile, as you can see right there. It's a gorgeous um, battery case, guys, for your iPhone 10. Okay, so when it comes to performance when charging this battery case from 0 to 100 percent it will take you roughly around 2 hours and 45 minutes the case doesn't get warm when you charge it which is always good and um, 
what I've noticed and experienced when charging this battery case is that you can't use your stock lightning cable to charge this battery case. You actually have to use the one that came inside the box, which is quite strange, guys. Very, very strange. I've tried several attempts of using the stock lightning cable and it just doesn't work. It's really, really weird. And also, when it comes to the audio port over here, I tested it out and that audio jack doesn't work at all. So here we go. Let me show you guys and give you an example. Let me power this on. Okay. And let's play a video here. Okay, cranked up the volume and I'll insert the audio jack. So we've got another speed test here on the Galaxy S9 Plus. As you can hear, as you can hear, it is still OnePlus coming from the speaker of the iPhone 10, not on so the earbud the here. OnePlus 5T stack up against the Snapdragon 845. So that is very Galaxy strange. S9 Animations are okay, so let me grab my Note 8 device. just to show you guys that this earbud is actually working. Okay, plug it in. And boom. Now it is coming from the ear earbud over here. So, I don't know if I got a defective unit. The one that they sent me out here. I don't know if this thing is defective or not, but the one that I've got here, it's just not working, guys. It, it seems like it's just a decoration. But other than that, um, let's continue with the performance, the experience that I got from this battery case. When it comes to charging the iPhone 10 from 0 to 100% with this battery case, you will actually only get um, not even a full charge, guys, from 0 to 90% that's all you can get from this 3500 milliamp battery um, and it will take you roughly around 2 hours and 16 minutes so another disappoint disappointing there guys I wish at least it could have charged the iPhone 10 one full charge then I would be uh, satisfied is it worth to purchase if you could tolerate with all those uh, negative things that I mentioned, um, this case is not too bad, guys, because of the slim profile. Um, it, it, it just looks good on your iPhone 10, And if you can tolerate only 90% of charging time on this, you know, hey, not too bad. Not too bad of a battery case, guys. If you could, like I said, if you could tolerate all those negatives that I mentioned, when I was testing this and based on my experience. So that's pretty much it guys. Once again, thank you for watching my video. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.